What's up guys, my name is Andy. I just got done installing this new fiberglass hood on my 66 Mustang and now I want to install some hood pins. I'm not going to utilize the hood latch system here because I'm going to do a different bumper, but I do need to get the hood pins installed so I can get this hood secure so it doesn't fly up on me uh, when we're going down the road. Let's head over to the bench real quick and take a look at the kit that we're going to install. So what I'm going to put in is this Scott Drake kit and uh, in case those that need the part number, uh, there it is for you. But this is just a standard stainless steel hood pin setup. I did, wasn't trying to do you know full racing stuff, but I wanted it to be secured. And one thing I like about this kit is it's got a rubber pad underneath these, these stainless steel plates so that when you mount it on the hood, it's not chewing up the paint, although it would be underneath the, the, this ring, so it may not matter. But I do like that part. And then um, <laughs> you don't have to use the lanyards that are come on here. You could just put the pins in and you'd be good. But I think we're gonna install that. And then also, uh, it comes with some screws to screws to the hood, and I'm going to do that for now. I've got a fiberglass hood, and so it, whether you have fiberglass or steel, it wouldn't matter. But I think down the road, I'm going to rivet these to the hood. Uh, but I'm going to get the hood painted, so I want to be able to take these off so I can paint the hood. And then when I put them back on, I'll probably re rivet them then. So, so let's head over to the car and uh, get everything prepped to start installing the new kit. We're going to utilize the stock hood stop or bumper or whatever these are called as the location for the pins. And actually we're gonna move these, these bumpers over to these bolts here on either side of the engine bay. Uh, Cause we still wanna utilize these to, to, to provide a place for the, the hood to stop on. So that when we secure everything down, they're resting against these stops. Um, but we don't need these bolts in place cause these, these, uh, these guys right here will still, and it's kind of hard to, there's a little threaded set, section underneath here. That'll just thread right in there and that'll still hold the fender to the core support but it'll give us that stop. I need to replace these with some new units. Uh, I need to order those, um, get that done later on, but we'll go ahead and get these taken out of here and they just unscrew. And then we can take these J clips off. You might have to get a screwdriver to take that off. Then we'll take these bolts out and thread these all the way down to the bottom. We wanna bottom out this nut so you have as low as it can go and then we can raise it up to, to set the hood height. So let's do that first before we get uh, drilling for the new pins. All right, now let's try and see how this goes. Yeah, see it's it's hitting the front here. So I do need to raise that, that stop up just a little bit. And then, oh yeah, I can definitely tell that from here to here it's definitely lower, so we need to raise that one up. Cool, all right, let's get those adjusted. All right, so and this is something that you're just gonna have to fine tune to your car to get it to where you want. It might take a little bit, but that's okay. All right, I think we got that good enough there. We're not touching down here. All right, all right. And then when you get this to the right height, you just drive this nut down, just take a half inch wrench, drive that down, tighten it up so this is nice and secure and do the same thing on both sides. And then these won't move. I don't know if it's the same on all of the kits, but these hood pins are just a little bit too big to, to fit in that hole. So we're gonna have to open that up with a drill bit so we can throw the, get these in there. Let's do that real quick. Now you may find it's easiest if we just go ahead and thread one of these guys on, and then we're gonna put this guy below. If you need to remove your grill, that might be easier for you. We'll just put this guy in there. And we're just gonna thread it in so that it's, so the bolt or the stud, you know, bottoms out on that nut down there. And then we'll just tighten that down. This is just to kind of hold it in place for right now. We'll, we'll fine tune it when we're done, but that way it makes it easy when it comes to making this, and you know, we can drill a hole in the hood for it. Something I want to point out real quick, look at how that hood pin, you see how it's kind of angling forward? Um, it's kind of hard to tell when you line everything up here, but that pin is actually tilted forward and that's okay. That's how we want it because then 
because the hood slopes down and that's going to be that plate that's on top of the hood's going to be flush and it'll look good but the reason why that's important is when you go to close the hood where the hole is on the bottom side of the hood and where the pin's going to be when the hood's closed is going to be just slightly just off just a little bit so the hole underneath the bottom of the hood you know we're going to need to be you know seven eighths of an inch big so that it can clear that and then the hole in the top you know, it can be, you know, well, we got that plate, so it can be a little bit bigger if we need to be, so then we can fine tune it. But that's just important so that you just don't think that the hood just drops straight down. It actually comes down at an angle, and when it comes down, it sweeps through, and that pin has to clear the hood, and so the hood hole has to be larger than the pin. So now we need to find out where this pin is gonna touch uh, underneath the hood there. So what I've got is I've just got a little white out Sharpie kind of a thing and I'm just going to put a little bit of paint on the tip of that and then when we close the hood it should transfer over and we'll know right where we need to drill a hole so this thing will fit right in the right spot on the hood. Alright, here we go. And just push on there. Oh yeah. Yeah, there's a white spot on here. Alright. Uh, you can kind of see it there on the camera. That little white spot. That's where we're going to drill. Alright, we're going to use a, one of these unit bits. I want to go to seven eighths of an inch and if you can get one that's shallow like this, not one of those ones that the seven eighths of an inch is way down here at the bottom, that would be better because we don't want to punch through the other side yet. So. All right, clean that up a little bit. And let's test it. Oh yeah. So as I was saying, so what's going on here is this the tip of the pin is clearing the hole, which is great, but I'm noticing that the back side of the pin is getting real close to this edge here. So I might need to open it up a little bit more towards the back of the car. Awesome. And then from here, what we want to do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna put another dab of white paint on here so that we can mark in the top of the hood here where that needs to come through and we'll drill a hole. Do the same thing we just, like we just did here. You're not going to be able to see in there, it's not light enough, but there is a white mark. You kind of see it in there. And then we know that uh, when we do the other hole, we're going to maybe drill the hole just a little bit further down the hood, just a little bit so we don't have to carve out for that uh, opening to be a little bit big, bigger. Alrighty, should be good. All right, let's see how we did. Okay, cool, so you can see the head of that stud starting to come through. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this up larger and keep going. So what we've got going on now is, so this is looking fine up here, but because the hole on the bottom side of the hood is, and you can't tell from here, it's actually hitting the back side of this stud and it's catching on the thread. So it's, see how it's kind of biting as, it, as you push down. And so that's fine, we can get that adjusted, but um, you just gotta be careful with the hole placement. See that hole, it's centered, but because the way the pin is tilted, it's not, it's not centered right now with the way the, the stud is because of the way it's sitting. So anyways, when you get this done, you know, that's why you do one hole at a time. So I'm gonna open up the hole a little bit more on the bottom on the back side of the stud. And I think we're gonna be okay with the top side here. All right, I just took a round file and just kind of hit the bottom of that hole so that when it closes, there. Now it's not binding at all and everything looks pretty good. The stud's pretty straight. Now we can go ahead and put that trim ring on. So now this trim ring, remember it's got that rubber pad I was talking about to help kind of seal things up. So it's great as we just put it right where we want it. And I don't know if there's you know, any rules on you know, where the holes, you know, where they, if, if you clock this thing a certain way. I'm just gonna try to put them as best I can so that they're squared like this or squared like that, however you want it to say. And just center this up as best I can. And again, this gasket thing on here is, is sealing pretty good around this stud. So we'll just use that as a guide so we don't have to worry about it moving around much because it's right where it needs to be. And then eyeball it as best you can. 
and then take a Sharpie and we're just gonna, oh, we forgot, we gotta, we gotta punch these little holes out first. Okay, now we can put it on here. Okay, there. Now, that looks about as, in the camera angle that you're at, you're not gonna be able to tell, but that's about as square as we're gonna get. Okay, all right, four dots. And we're gonna just put a little, just a little mark on the hood so there's a kind of an indentation for the drill bit to sit in. We don't want that drill bit walking on us when we go to try to drill these holes. And I'm just gonna use a 3 30 seconds drill bit I'm going to go ahead and pull off the cover for the, the stainless part. It's going to get scratched up when we do the hood pin and all that stuff anyway, so I just don't want this paper underneath the, underneath the screws when we're, after we screw it down. I'll just get that one started and get another one in here just to hold everything in place. Now, because I have a fiberglass hood, you want to be careful. Don't spin those too much because you could strip that out. But um, I can just sink this down a little bit more. There. So from here, you notice that I won't be able to put the pin in because this is not sticking out enough. So I need to go in and I need to adjust the height of the stud so that I can get this in there. But the nice thing is we've got that stop in place. Just finish this up. Last thing I want to do on this side is find a place to, to secure the lanyard. Uh, you know, the, the simplest place is to just put a self-tapping screw into the core support here. Uh, so for you guys, I mean, it's really going to kind of depend on what you want to do. I'm just going to fish it through the grill, get a screw in there, and then just kind of hold it in place. And then this will just kind of sit through the grill. And that's not going to hurt anything. I guess you could use this screw if you wanted to, if you didn't want to drill holes in your core support. There's an open hole right here. I guess we could put a bolt in there small screw or something, but just something that you want to do wherever you want to put it is going to be dependent on you and then uh, these will be secured. All right, so when you get it all done, you can move over to the other side and get it started and it'll go from looking like this to looking like this. All right, that one's done. Everything's in place. It's, <laughs> it's a lot faster when you do the second one because now you know all the things you have to do to make it fit right and all that kind of stuff. You know, doing the first one takes you a little bit longer. This maybe a quarter of the time, it went really fast. In fact, I spent more time trying to find, I dropped one of these screws on the ground and I couldn't find it. And I wanted to find it because I need all four of them to match. So anyways, all right guys, that's it. Uh, man, that looks pretty good. I, well, I like that stuff. I, I like that race car looking kind of, kind of set up on these cars. Oh man, I like it. So all right guys, that's it. Another one of these, uh, these little front projects you can do by yourself done and in the books, right? Uh, on something like this, again, just taking your time. Uh, there's no reason to do them both at the same time. I right? do one, figure it out, and if you figure out that you need to do something different on the other side, then you can fix that. And I was talking about how, because that pin is tilted a little bit, when the hood comes down, it, 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 the whole location actually is not as obvious as it looks. So, uh, but once you figure it out on the first one, you know what to do with the second one. And the second one went in 
way easier. So everything's, everything's secure, everything's in place. All right, move on to the next project. All right guys, if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out. And we'll see you in the next one.